Hello and welcome to another episode of D-Dubs Plays. If you like the video today, you can make a difference to the channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. And whilst you're down there, jump into the comments. I reply to every comment and I'd love to say hi. By the way, I've recently discovered that YouTube likes to autoplay my videos at 360p. I do upload at 720p, so if your picture resolution is terrible, please do check to make sure that you're getting the highest available resolution. The plan for today's episode is to get rid of this mess and put a new district in its place. But before we do that, you may have noticed a couple of new planters in front of this hotel here. And then there are some either side of the main entrance to the airport and some in front of the lounges here as well. I've also added a nice big rock feature in the in amongst the trees over here and I extended the trees slightly over this way to uh, blend them in a little bit better and up by the observatory here I've added a radio mast next to the offices and some fencing along the steep edge of the road there so yeah just a few minor extra details that I felt the place needed and I think I'm really happy with the way that it's looking now I've also been around and done some minor housekeeping. I noticed that we were having some issues with not enough goods in some of the shops over here. So I've added a warehouse next to the cargo station. Now I'm noticing that we are not getting a huge amount of goods in there, even though it's set to fill. We're, it's been there for quite a while now and we're still only at 197 in storage. And likewise, this one over here, still only 46 in storage. And this one's been here for a very long time indeed. So it's pretty clear that we're not quite getting enough goods to meet our needs and we will have to work on adding an industrial district in the not too distant future. But that will have to wait because today's project is this district over here. Now I'm going to start by pausing the game and removing all of the zoning that we've got over here. And then we're going to delete all of these buildings that's very satisfying <laughs> now I also need to delete this road here we'll go we'll go a little further than that we'll go back to about about there should do let's uh, pop these out of the way for a minute as well just going to extend the landscaping out a little bit in this direction. That should be good. Now we're going to upgrade this little piece of road here. And then we're going to bring it out a ways. We'll go to about there for now. And then I'm just going to use a dirt road. I'm going to come off of here and I'm just going to measure out to 20. And then we're going to get rid of that bit. Get rid of all of that. So I feel like this is a, a fairly good spacing. I know that in this direction I want an arterial road that's heading towards what's going to be the downtown. And in this direction, we're going to have an oil industry up at this end here. So I feel like the housing in between here should be a bit sort of lower income, high density, but um, not, not quite as posh as it is in other parts of the city. I think this middle area will probably end up putting a lot of tourism-y type stuff in here. We've got obviously the beaches on either side and uh, I'm sure we can find ways to utilize those. But yeah, I think um, I think I've got a bit of an idea of uh, how I want this area to look. Okay, the first thing I need to do is use some editing magic and prepare the area. There we go, that's looking much better already. Next up, we're going to draw the arterial road in in this direction. We'll go out to about there, I think, for now. And I'm just going to use a dirt road just to connect it back up to here. That's just so that we've still got the connection to the station when I unpause the game. Now I'm gonna use some short pieces of road just to measure out some spacing here. 
Okay, I've got a few marker roads. I'm going to connect this one to the arterial here and we're going to bring it up to about there for now. Okay, then we're going to go from about this point here, I think, and we're going to come right down to that point there. We're going to join that up to that. We're going to link this one to the arterial and up to there. Okay, apologies for the random cut there. I've uh, been having lots of issues with maintaining a stable connection with my Xbox recently. And um, yeah, just decided to disconnect on me again. And then this one's gonna go up to there. And then we're gonna take off our snapping options and we're just gonna pull these ones out just till they almost touch that road. Okay, so we've got the start of a bit of a grid area there and we've got this nice interesting angle here. Now over here, I'm going to pop in a district. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the whole thing as a district. And we're just gonna add the organic and local produce specialization to it. And then we're gonna draw in some high density buildings. Yeah, I think that will do. there and about there those look perfect and then next to those we're just going to draw some small low density housing low density commercial sorry in next to them and yep you guessed it we're looking for the Edison hyperchargers to spawn in there so we've got some parking next to those get some more high density housing in over here see what the spacing is like um, yeah let's go like that now I want to sort these grids out so I'm going to put some fencing along here and I might want to redraw some of these roads that looks fine Yeah, it looks like this is the only one with funky stuff going on. So let's just pop a new road in there. There we go, that's fixed that. Okay, so. We're just going to draw in some... Uh, some nice housing. And I think we'll mirror that on this one. Okay, so we've got some nice high density residential zoning in place. I think we need some footpaths. Now, because I want this to be a more low income sort of housing area, we're just gonna use the concrete paths. I think they'll, uh, they'll suit the look that we're after better. And we're just going to cheat a little bit with the uh, paths here. If we take it to just before the fence breaks, then it will still connect and pedestrians will actually walk through the fence. So, um, yeah, that just saves me having to uh, redraw the fence and then possibly having to redraw the roads because the uh, 
zoning grids have messed up. In fairness, I probably should have uh, drawn the paths in before I put the fence in, but uh, yeah, now that the mistake's been made, this is the uh, this is the workaround. There we go. We can just imagine that there's gates there, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> in fairness, I would probably take the time to fix that normally, but I am very, very short on time this week. Unfortunately, my wife injured her ankle this week, so I've been doing uh, lots of extra housework duties and daddy duties, and uh, yeah, haven't had anywhere near as much time as I normally do to record, which has uh, put me a little bit tight on the schedule. Why has that done that? You're not supposed to do that. Okay, you know what, we're just going to have a small house there. It's doing it there as well. Maybe it's to do with the road length here. Um, let's try. Yeah, there we go, it works. Okay, so apparently the road length was slightly off there, which is why it was erasing the grid at the end. But we fixed it now, which is all good. Um, I think we want to add. I think we want to add more concrete. Okay, so now we're going to run the game for a bit and let some buildings pop in through here. Probably need to sort out the plumbing and the power as well. Hmm, that's not right. There we go, that's all fixed. Now I'm going to be playing a fair amount of whack-a-mole to uh, try and get the buildings that I want here. Okay, power and water is fixed. Now, some of these I want to keep already, so I'm going to go through and make those historic. Okay, this is exactly what we were looking for. We've got lots of uh, apartment blocks here that look a little bit run down, a little bit dingy. So uh, definitely don't look like the uh, higher end of the market. And then we've got lots of concrete in between, a few scattered trees. And then at the back here, we've got these three large tower blocks with a little car park next to each. I think that looks quite nice. Now we do need to get some services into this area and I want to start off with this hospital from the one of the content creator packs I think it's uh, the modern Japan content creator pack 
Okay, now we're gonna extend some road over in this direction. At least to there. Okay, let's come out that far. I think we want a little bit more space around it as well. Okay. Let's do that. And then... Pop that in there. Okay, we've got a hospital in there. I think we need to add a police station and a fire station. I think we'll go with that police station and that fire station. Now I think we need to have some parkland in here to uh, keep the residents happy, so what can we fit in here? That will fit nicely. path in there and they don't connect which is annoying but that's uh, that's too small a gap to connect them to each other um, it'll do it'll do we'll leave it okay we're gonna pop a road in there I think we will join these two up here um, Let's, uh, let's add a road there and we'll take our guidelines off and put another one in just there. I think we need to add a post office in here somewhere so let's pop Let's pop a post office just there. And then we want to add a elementary school, which I think I think the elementary school can go about there. And then over here I want to add this school here ah, disconnected again okay I want to put this school I think I want to put this about here okay so we'll pop that one in there let's pop the snapping back on that'll do uh, so to there to there to there perfect Let's just bring that down to there. Um, I think we could put a large park or something in there. Uh, oh, look at our funds. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. Okay, we have popped in a few expensive buildings. So let's pop some more taxpayers in. Uh, Okay, I think we need a path just behind here. That works. 
I wasn't really planning on having the taller buildings in here but I actually like the way those two look there so I think I'm going to keep those. Yeah, I like that one. Mm. I definitely don't like that one. Might leave that one for a minute and see what it looks like when it levels up. Um. Yeah, that one we can keep. I think a large park there would work nicely. Okay, so I've just drawn out a couple more pieces of grid there. I'm going to continue the cycle path all the way along here. And then we'll pop some more zoning in as well. And then we'll fill in paths across here again. Ah, we've managed to push our population up to Grand City. So now we've got a solar plant, we've got a basketball park, waste transfer facility and waste processing complex. They're definitely going to come in handy soon. Uh, Intercity bus terminal and the bus metro hub. Let's just extend our water pipe. Okay, so we've been through, we've made everything historic. And yeah, I was really looking for a much more cramped, uh, much more low quality, concrete jungle kind of feel for this area. I think it's gonna blend in quite nicely with the oil industry over in this direction once we get to that. Um, left some spaces here, which uh, we'll fill out with some decoration, um, particularly around behind the schools. I'll, uh, I'll add some fields and some playgrounds and things and uh, make those feel a bit more complete. Not sure what I'm going to put along the highway here. It might just end up being trees or something, but um, yeah, we'll figure that out when we get there. And yeah, we've got this uh, this nice hospital, which I think feels, feels right for the area. Not so sure about the police station and the fire station, but we're kind of limited on op options for uh, for those buildings. So I think they will have to do. So we've got a little bit done, not as much as I would have liked, but uh, as I said earlier, we're a little bit pressed for time this week. I'm going to 
name this district Raid Kitty Gardens. So Raid Kitty is my recommended content creator this week. Uh, not only does she do City Skylines content, but she also does a few other games as well, and she's uh, always entertaining to watch. As usual, I will link the channel in the description, so do go check her out. Next week, the plan is to expand further in this direction and probably get some other decorations done in this area as well. It's also possible that by next week, I will have a Discord server up and running. I'm currently working on it, so fingers crossed that will be ready by next week. And of course, I'll give you all the details if that's the case. Didn't really get as much done today as I'd hoped, but as I said earlier, time was uh, a bit of an issue this week. Um, nonetheless, I'm quite happy with what we've got so far. But uh, we're going to call it an episode there, and I will catch you in the next one.